I hope you enjoyed that ride with me. Um, I was thinking and meditating and praying as I was riding. And what I want to do is share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number one, you have to understand that God does exist. If you have a problem with that, then may God have mercy on you. But anyway, he does have, not only does he exist, but he has a word. And I'm just going to share a few verses with you, and then you have a decision to make. Uh, let's see. All right. I've already got the wrong. All right, let's go here. I want to share with you today, uh, Romans, just let me take a second. I'd like to share with you um, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. And he says, That if you, that if thou, Old English, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him, and by the way, that word whosoever means anybody and everybody. For the scripture saith, Anybody and everybody believeth on him shall not Okay, so okay, shall not be ashamed. For where there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. And the last verse is for whosoever again for anybody and everybody shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If I were to ask you if you died tonight, where would you go? And if you would not say heaven, and you would say something like, I don't know, then that's what we call being lost. And what the Word of God says, being lost in our trespasses and sins. But God wants you to be saved, and to be saved is to know that when you die, whenever that day is, you'll go to heaven. The way to become a saved person is by calling. You don't get on your cell phone, you just simply pray. And the prayer that you should pray is a prayer of forgiveness, a prayer of repentance, because they're worth both work together. A prayer, for example, like what I did back in 1980. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I believe Jesus died on the cross for those sins. What's up, Ernest? The best way I know how, I ask you to forgive me and come into my heart and save my soul. That was my friend Ernest. And I made that I said that prayer, but more than that, I had faith behind those words when I prayed because I thought to myself, man, this is awesome. I've never heard this before. I'm going to try it. And I did. And I put all my heart into it. And I knew something had happened in my heart. Now, yes, I'm a Vietnam veteran, and I was afraid of dying because when I came back, I felt lucky. I should have died over there, I know that. But I felt like I should find out some serious stuff about this thing dying and where one goes when they die. And long story short, I read a book, The Late Great Planet Earth by Hal Lindsey, 
and the dear lady Judith Hudson way back in 1980 when I used to work for the government as a supply clerk she took my hand led me to pray a prayer like that I'd like to help you say a prayer like that because hell is real and you don't belong in hell God says he made hell hell for the devil and his angels why because pride was found in the devil he said I will ascend into the most high he wanted to be God and that's just not possible and he was kicked out of heaven and he's been lying to people you and me ever since and if you're not saved you're lost and you are believing the devil's lie now right now the devil doesn't want you to say that prayer the devil's telling you you know what hey take your time go to church tomorrow but you know what you don't have tomorrow in fact you don't even have five minutes from now because it takes a second to have a heart attack and died that happened to me but I was already born again and they revived me and I've been disabled ever since. You only have the here and now. Yesterday's gone, never to come back. Tomorrow is yet to occur and it may not. But today is what you have. And I'm going to say a prayer and I'm going to ask you to join me. Say, Father, I know I'm a sinner. I believe Jesus died on the cross. For all of my sins. I ask you to forgive me. And the best way I know how. I ask you to come into my heart. And save my soul. Amen. If you said that prayer and you meant it. You are born again. According to the spirit of God. Now I'm going to put this on YouTube. You can subscribe to my YouTube. You can comment to me there. Or you can friend me on Facebook. My name is Tito Calmelo. Rivera. Three names. Tito, T-I-T-O, Carmelo, C-A-R-M-E-L-O, last name Rivera, river with an A at the end. And I'd like to hear from you. Father, I pray that this video goes out. And whosoever, anybody and everybody should watch it and be touched and be saved. For we know, Lord, that your coming is at hand even within weeks and days, perhaps hours, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. I love you people. God bless. Have a great day.